In this video, we will describe the advantages and principles of maintenance pruning in mature macadamia orchards. Why do we prune? We prune to control tree size and tree shape. Pruning is advised for several reasons. Firstly, when we established the orchard, we decided on a specific spacing. Once the orchard reaches maturity, we must now maintain that spacing. Secondly, keeping tree height down prevents overcrowding and ineffective pest control in orchards. In highly overgrown orchards, sunlight does not penetrate the tree canopy anymore, and the trees then tend to set the crop in the top third of the canopy. Pests such as stink bugs hide in the top third of the tree, and spray rigs can only spray effectively up to a specific point. If trees are higher than what the spray rig can effectively reach or are too dense, you won't get sufficient spray penetration, leading to pest problems and resistance. Pruning also improves light penetration and airflow in the orchard. Macadamia growers are actually farming with sunlight. When branches inside the canopy do not get sufficient sunlight, the leaves will fall off and branch dieback will follow. As with pest control, you don't want to get to the point where all your bearing wood is in the top half or third of the tree. Lastly, regular pruning serves to rejuvenate mature orchards. The aim is to keep bearing branches young and to introduce new bearing wood continuously. Most flowers are produced on wood that is two years or older. By pruning annually and not excessively in one year, the tree is not put under stress and can keep producing nuts. By pruning excessively in one year, trees can go from a reproductive to a vegetative state and not produce many nuts. But not pruning at all can also lead to overgrown orchards. In orchards where trees use their reserves to grow vegetatively instead of reproductively and where new bearing wood is not continuously produced, yields are reduced. And if your yields are reduced, you are losing money. Tree height should not exceed 80% of row width, as productivity and yield declines after that. The ideal is a pyramid or Christmas tree shaped tree, with one central leader and lateral side branches that do not compete with the central leader, as flowers and nuts are mostly carried on horizontal side branches. The lateral branches should form a 20 degree angle with the vertical axis. This shape ensures that the whole tree has access to sunlight and that bearing wood and flowers and nuts are found from the top to the bottom of the tree. When looking down the row, a V-shape should open up in the sky. Growers often underestimate the importance of pruning. Pruning is as an important input as irrigation and nutrition and requires the same level of planning. We hope this video will guide you in your pruning strategy.